Hi, my name is Balia, and today I'm going to talk about how to pick the perfect pineapple. I have two pineapples here. This one is the ideal pineapple, and this one here is not so much, not the best. And we're going to talk about the differences. Now, the most striking difference that is apparent right away is the color difference. This one has a nice, even golden color all the way from the top to the bottom. Let's say if only the base were a yellow color but the top was still green, well then it wouldn't be perfectly ripe. And the thing about pineapples is that they stop ripening the moment they are picked. So you want to buy the ripest looking pineapple that you can find. And this one over here has a nice even green color which is something to avoid. The second test is the smell test. And when you smell a pineapple, it should smell very fragrant, have a rich, fruity fragrance. And the less ripe the pineapple will be, the less fragrant it will be. So this pineapple here doesn't even have a fragrance at all, while this pineapple has a very strong fragrance. Next we're going to look at the little eyelets, the round shapes that you see on the peel of the pineapple. And what you want to look for is the size of the eyelets being consistent from the bottom all the way to the top. Now notice that on this pineapple, the eyelets are approximately the same size from the bottom to the top all the way around, which means that this pineapple had longer to ripen on the vine and become juicy and sweet, much longer than say this one. Whereas you can see here that the eyelets start off really large here and then they get really small at the top. That's why this here is not a choice pineapple. You can also see it in the leaves. The leaves of this pineapple aren't very developed either. Compare that to the leaves on this one. And granted, these are different varieties, but ideally you would look for a pineapple with a nice big bushy top and eyelets that are the same size all the way to the top. Also, you see a little tapering towards the top here, which is undesirable. You really want it to be kind of a rectangular shape and kind of even an even shape from the bottom to the top. Now the last thing that you would look for is how well the top is attached. On a very ripe pineapple, you should be able to slightly wiggle the crown of the pineapple, and in fact, the top leaves of the crown should come out just like this quite easily. Whereas on an unripe pineapple, the crown is actually going to be very well attached to the fruit itself, and it's not going to budge, not going to go anywhere. And that's how you pick a wonderful pineapple. You want to look for the color, a nice golden color from the top to the bottom, a wonderful aromatic tropical fragrance, the size of the eyelids should be consistent, consistently large from the top to the bottom. A great indication of a good pineapple is an even symmetrical shape and a well-formed top. And lastly, if that top is fairly loose, loosely attached to the top of the pineapple, those are all signs that the pineapple is ripe. Now what to avoid? You want to avoid pineapples that have turned brown, that are overripe, that smell like there may have been some fermentation. Those will be past their prime. Pineapples keep approximately three to five days. They're highly perishable fruit, so you want to go ahead and eat them as soon as they're ripe, as quickly as possible. Lastly, I'd like to show you a nice little trick about growing pineapples. When you buy a pineapple, one of the things many people don't realize is you're actually buying two pineapples because the top, if you just give it a little twist like this, it comes right off. It, this will actually grow a pineapple and it makes a really attractive house plant. So what you want to do is take the bottom leaves like this and just start pulling them off like so. It takes about a year to two years for the top of a, fine, a pineapple to produce a fruit, but it has a really gorgeous flower that's very unique and worth seeing. And like I said, it makes a really attractive house plant. Since most of us keep house plants anyway, we might as well have one that will eventually be fruitful. So you just keep going around and pulling these off like this. 
and you want to pull off quite a few of them but not all of the leaves because the plant does need some of the leaves still on it to produce chlorophyll and continue growing. Once you've, once you've peeled the greens off like this, Then you take this portion and you just set it in water and roots will form. Once the roots are well developed, you put that in some soil and a year from today, you'll have yourself a pineapple that will be exactly like this. I hope this will make your pineapple selection easier and take the guessing out of shopping. If you would like more information on how to select quality produce in the store, feel free to check out my app. It's called Quality Produce and it has 52 items that I cover in the app. You can take my app right into the store, tap on the fruit that you'd like to learn about, and I will literally be right there with you to read from the app about the item that you wish to select.